Hello. Hello, welcome. Thank you. Hello, Ben. Uh, let's um, yeah. Uh, I'll put the uh, meeting notes out in the SIG channel. Give everybody a minute or two to file in here. We have a full agenda for today. <laughs> um, I don't know that we'll be able to do it all, but we can certainly try. Hello. Hey, Bartek, welcome. Oh, hi. So while we're still uh, while we're still waiting for the for Richie and a few others to to file in, maybe a quick round of introductions for once I can Brian, Michael, Dotan. This meeting was being a little weird. I have to join via browser rather than the app. Oh, that's strange. Not the first time, Brian, you need to do that. And Richie is coming as well, yes? He should be. At least he sent a reminder in chat like a minute or two ago. So yes, you might yes. be running into the same issue. Yeah, I need to create yep. an account with Zoom. Yes. Okay, so while people are filing in, and this is recorded, um, I'll just open the meeting and say this is a, our SIG observability meeting right before Thanksgiving in the US on the 24th here. Um, if uh, this is a CNCF meeting, the CNCF uh, rules and conduct and all that apply, everybody be cool. It's never been an issue, but we always should say it. Um, if you've not been here before, do you wanna take a quick second and, and do an intro? Well, we have a full agenda, but I see some new faces. I'm familiar with the names, but it's, it's it's the first time I've seen here, so feel free. I guess I could jump in. Uh, I'm Ben. Uh, I work for GitLab, and I'm also a member of the uh, Prometheus team. And I work. I'm a S observability SRE at, at GitLab. Awesome. Welcome. Yeah, I'm Brian Brazel. I'm one of the Prometheus developers, and also involved with Open Metrics. And for anyone who's not familiar, uh, check out Robust Perception. There's a lot of good tips there on the blog. Anyone else before we hang on? Where are Richie, where are you? Okay. All right. Anyone else? Okay. Um, uh, so I put the um, the meeting notes in the in the channel. Um, we've got a pretty full agenda uh, already. So uh, I guess Partak, why don't we why don't we start with you uh, in order here? Sure. It is. It should be like a super quick thing. So essentially, we talked about kind of collaborating better with other. Well, with many um, CNCF SIG observability related kind of projects. Uh, but not only with other projects as well. Uh, we definitely need, want to have a stronger, stronger connection and communication between those. Um, uh, we already, I already kind of spoke with a couple of teams. You much spoke as well, and we want, we we had this idea of those introduction talks. So I would say let's go ahead and kind of craft some agenda. Um, and I know for a next talk, like in two weeks, we will have um, kind of a talk from Captain project, which is kind of impressive. They are kind of collaborating with, uh, well, kind of working on, on improving the Prometheus scaling of configuration problems. So that's pretty nice. But we would love to have all the, you know, um, kind of observability related projects to, to maybe introduce your, themselves and tell us uh, about, you know, maybe um, near time actions or like plans. So we can understand better and maybe hop in 
on the on the problems that uh, you know to not reinvent the wheel essentially and just because we all have the same problems as a uh, and challenges let's say not problems as 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 uh, as the CNCF project so that's the idea I think we had quite nice introduction to open telemetry a couple of meetings ago but yes um, I would I would say I'm announcing this and hopefully we can have some uh, volunteers for the next meetings why not what do you think and comment. Sorry. <laughs> Personally, I love this idea. <clears throat> I would love to hear more about different observability projects, and I think this is a great forum for that kind of thing. Hey, sorry for being late. My computer is. No worries. We're just thinking about. Um kind of the idea of into that introducing each project. I think, uh, anyway, it's up to, I guess, us. Um, if you have connect, strong connection to the any observability project, uh, please go to them. Or like, if you are from this project, please, uh, actually, I should probably start some doc where we can, or we can maybe put that here on our agenda uh, to essentially schedule this uh, and have, let's say, 10, 15 minutes of talk, introduction talk of maybe, relevant issues as well um, that you are facing right now as the project um, or stuff like that uh, in the following meetings. I think it would be amazing to, to maintain this table here. But anyway, this is for your awareness. If you are a maintainer, if you contribute to this project, please let, let them know so we can have, we, we can learn essentially. So that's it yeah, from my side. Sweet. Uh, I'll, I, I would suggest if everyone, uh, if this makes sense to everyone, we just make a GitHub label uh, to track these kinds of things and we can use GitHub issues on the Kanban board um, uh, to, to keep track of all these different projects because there's a whole bunch of them. Um, Litmus, we talked to a couple of weeks ago, they're, they're planning to make an intro as well. So um, does anyone object to that? If not, I will just take an action I have to make it and um, yeah, just add, it, yeah. To reinforce the point, uh, again, I maintain we need to move more stuff out of the call and not more stuff into the call. Because um, there is limited time in the call and we should we should focus stuff uh, into the call where we actually have to communicate with, with each other live uh, and not put more stuff. But I only have half the context because I got my computer. So, um, with that being said, cool. I will now officially recuse myself as chair of the SIG for the rest of this meeting, or at least until we are not talking about open metrics again. Yeah, down on the agenda um, where we're going to do a, a review today, uh, we'll take up a good chunk of the time on the open metrics due diligence they've applied uh, for. A, um, yeah, well, we'll get to it. Uh, but first, yes. Yeah, but first, we've got a couple of things before that to kind of uh, buzz through. Um, so, uh, Arthur, I think you're up. Yeah, sure. Uh, the first topic I've added to the agenda is a, so it's just a report on how we are doing with the white paper for the beginners on observability. Uh, we've sort of organize all topics that we want to talk about. And right now, each one of the uh, members of the working group uh, are, I, I don't want to say handomly, but just uh, what we are most familiar with, what we are feeling comfortable, comfortable for writing about. We are just picking one sub subject and writing, uh, elaborating and yeah, that's what how we are doing right now. And of course, uh, we are open to anyone who wants to help us write or just reveal what we are writing. And the link I'll just post on the uh, chat. I don't know if Michael or Simone has anything to add. No. Okay. No. Cool. I mean, we, yeah, I mean, just to, for the others that joined now, 
what we did was basically to meet outside this meeting here just to agree what we want to write about we have an idea now but we i at least started offline before i can have text in a shared document that is worth reading um yeah and we basically created or we are we have a task in the board <laughs> so to say and we set up a deadline as well to have something to be delivered so we have, I think it was beginning of January, right? I have at least January uh, first two weeks as my mental deadline here before. I mean, this is like the final submission, but before that we have to iterate. <laughs> yeah, this is great. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't join on Friday. We were dealing with the Docker apocalypse fallout. Um, <laughs> and and uh, I'm sure I'm not the only one. Uh, who knows what that means. Um, I noticed that there's two issues. Are we using uh, 16 and 19 on the board for that? Or are we consolidating to yeah, one of them? 60. 60. Yeah, I think they, they are different things. One is a white paper and another is an index page. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I looked at this wrong. So we closed rather um, 28 and we're going to be using uh, 16. Great. Yeah. Uh, just one another question. Uh, are we still meeting on Fridays, the the white paper working group or not? Mm, so you are planning to meet every Friday to no. sync until or every two weeks? Yeah, it doesn't need to be every Friday, but just to like just follow up, see that the project is going forward or not. I think we can use the issue 16 to coordinate on that. I don't think that we need to uh, use everyone's time for, for that, but that's fine. We have a, a Google Docs, we have our sections assigned and we can use issue 16 to coordinate. Cool. Great, thank you. Um, uh, is that it for the white paper and on to, if I'm if I'm moving quick, it's because the open metrics is gonna be a long document. We're, we're trying to uh, maximize uh, time on where we know we're gonna have to spend some. Um, the index page proposal, that's next, right? Yeah. Let me just get the pull request. I'm adding to the chat as well. Um, just started a uh, markdown file, table driven, sorry, so, uh, some, a set of tables with where we can add uh, useful information for those who are kind of lost and doesn't know where to search for uh, information. Uh, there is a lot of questions on the PR and we don't need to go over everything right now, but it would be cool if some, if people just give feedback to the PR, then we could just move on to the open metrics. I was I was curious for this one too, uh, just to plant the seed here. You know, uh, we could probably use like a either like a radar, maybe not a radar with like adopt, you know, adopt assess hold kind of radar, but maybe some other sort of graphical visualization of the different domains of observability um, that that might make sense once we've got you know the raw table compiled, um, maybe as a follow on or or something like that. Might might be pretty cool. Agreed. Cool. Um, okay. Any other comments on on this one? No. We need to definitely spend some offline time to to make it prettier. Absolutely. Uh, but we should incrementally add that mm. and work on the PR essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do we want to do uh, um do you want to talk about the prime migrator design doc first briefly to I'm guessing to sort of introduce it um, and 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 then set the stage for maybe in two weeks where we could take a deeper dive through it and then I guess we could or I, I'm concerned yeah. that we, we we might not get to yours if we start in on the uh, open metric stuff before the end of the yeah. hour <laughs> I'll, I'll try to make it less than two minutes um, <laughs> So pretty much we started the project. The idea is really simple to allow you to migrate um, Prometheus data between the 
various Prometheus long-term stores, and it just uses the already existing remote write and remote read APIs in Prometheus, uh, and there's just kind of a a pipe between reading out of one and writing to another. Um, the idea here is that you can move things between uh, existing stuff in Prometheus into uh, Thanos Cortex, Promise Scale, what have you, or the other way around, um, or, or between um, any of the long-term stores. Uh, so the basic design doc is up. I don't think we need to go through it in this group necessarily. I just wanted to put it on people's radar so they are aware that this team, that this tool is being developed. And maybe if people have expertise in remote read and the remote write, they could go into the dock and and put their thoughts in. Right, so for that, that's cool. Thanks for um, bringing this, uh, thanks for raising it here. Um, I, I did have a, a quick high level question. This is primarily aimed, it looks like at the dock at, at historical data and backfilling. Uh, versus, uh, right. well, so we've been going back and forth about that, and it would be uh, great if people could um, could chime in. Uh, as it is, the first version will probably be for backfitting, but we are wondering if we wanted to do an online version of this as well. Um, but we don't know because Prometheus kind of has already an online thing with remote right. Uh, so, uh, but but thoughts about this are definitely welcome. Yeah, I think it would be amazing if you can share this with like uh, Prometheus, uh, essentially mailing list, or or at yeah. least hook into discussions we have with about backfilling and our storage kind of ideas behind that because looks like we are solving similar kind of, you know, challenges here. <laughs> but uh, maybe, you know, whatever you learn will be useful for future backfilling and, and, and maybe exporting as well. So it's really connected a little bit, yeah. Yeah, I, I know that the horror question, who is the main developer on this, has brought us up on um, Prometheus IOC before, but uh, we maybe do- you can think uh, that again. Yeah, we do intend to send it out to the dev mailing list as well. Yeah, there's there's a there's another. I'll just be brief. There's another adjacent um, idea that we had talked about over the summer. Um, I know Thanos has done some work around it, um, and and uh, I, I would love to spend some time on it uh, as a dev. Uh, I've not had that time uh, over the past quarter, but a, a sort of a a mirroring proxy or a smart sort of L seven, if you will. Uh, you know, remote write protocol aware proxy that could do uh, buffering, mirroring, and, and things like that. You know, right now, for example, we run a dozen or so clusters, big ones, and and we have you know, a, we have Prometheus doing remote write to both staging and and production environments, and it puts sort of the load on the sending side, um, uh, and you know it might make sense for some scenarios to have almost like a PG bouncer is to Postgres, uh, proxy SQL is to MySQL, something like that for the remote write protocol. It would be um, a, a man in the middle, so to speak, and it would support scenarios like canaries, buffering, uh, you know, s some degree of fault tolerance or, or retry semantics, like a, things like that. So it, that's why I was asking if it's a sort of if your design spec here is more of a bulk backfill tool or meant to be more like a in bump in the wire inline um, smart proxy or protocol aware proxy. Yeah, but yeah, yeah now that you mentioned it, it makes a whole lot of sense. We'll, we'll think about it. So thank you. Cool. Yeah. And uh, again, thanks for, thanks for bringing this up and um, we'll look forward to talking about it in the future. Uh, all right, so with that, uh, before we dive into the open metrics due diligence, is there anything uh, uh, anyone wants to mention before we before we spend sort of the remainder of our time there? Okay, uh, I guess Bartek, take it away. Sure, so, okay. The goal of this kind of um, section of this meeting is to go through the 
um, due diligence kind of template. That, um, I asked parametrics to fill in all kind of um, the seek observability to get team together um, and all members. You are kind of happy to. Um, you're welcome to you know comment or you know kind of point any maybe gaps or actually you know uh, praise this <laughs> and um, and essentially go through this and and agree if we want to recommend open metrics as uh, as a project that should be in the incubated stage not in the sandbox as it is right now right um, so um, the team uh, the open metrics team spent a lot of time on doing this so um, it's actually I, I read through this and it's kind of um, have everything in my opinion, but but we can. I mean, the plan is to go through all of this and and essentially review this together. And maybe we can do this in a similar fashion as we did previously with Cortex and Thanos. Um, so please feel free to comment and um, essentially we go through all, yeah most of the of the yeah, sections um, here. Maybe we could use the reactions feature or maybe put stuff in the doc itself, but how, just to, I'm trying to gauge how many people roughly have actually read through this doc and, and have had sufficient time for feedback. Um, I know that uh, I know that I, I, I would like to spend some more time with it, but that's not to say we shouldn't walk through it and, and see where we're at. Yeah, I've skimmed it. I haven't had an opportunity to add comments yet. Um, would definitely like to take another pass as well, but uh, I've at least read it the first time. Okay, then it sounds yeah, like just to set expectations, we're probably, as much as we would like to just <laughs> do it, do, you know, um, it, it sounds like we might, we, let's spend the time today to walk through it and then see where we're at uh, uh, as a group. But I, I do want to make sure that we, you know, we, we have maybe sufficient time for review by the community. Hmm? Maybe a reminder of how the Cortex and Thanos um, due diligence was handled there. We basically read out one section and then had this thing of all agreed or comments or disagreement. Because else, unless we do divide and conquer, I don't think it's realistic to, to get even through half the document. And I think reading okay. it out live is, is the only way forward. But at this point, then we are basically back to how we did it with Cortex and Thanos, read the section out and then all agreed or comments or disagree. But I'm explicitly not saying that we have to do this and I, I took off the hat. <laughs> so it's just a reminder. Sure. Um, well, do you wanna do that Bartek? Do you wanna kind of read through this and, and talk through it section by section? I can I can help scribe or take notes in the doc or comments or we can as a, as a body just move through it. Uh, well, you, we can do that definitely. I think with the cortex and tunnels, people had like at least week notice, but um, I think it's much smaller as well as the project is uh, um, is essentially about the protocol and open protocol. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so that's it. Yeah, that's okay. an established protocol as well. So this isn't just most of this should not be controversial or new, or new for for folks. Or so yeah, let's let's dive in then. Um, let me actually. So do you want me to kind of do you want me to be the <laughs> do do you, do you want me to kind of drive us through section by section and 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 call for votes and all that? Like uh, yeah, I have to say, but, the way Richard did it last time was quite uh, ruthlessly efficient. Uh, I can yeah, I can yeah, try to. So I, I definitely won't be that efficient, but we can try. So first of okay. all, self -govern governing. Let's go. Um, so open observability. Um, the governance was kind of established, I think, kind of recently. Um, maybe, I don't know, maybe reach and essentially maintainers can kind of walk us through like TLDR of the governance. Is that, 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 does it make sense? It's basically, or it is literally the Prometheus um, governance with three changes. A, it allows for sub projects. B, it um, replaces lazy consensus with rough consensus as per ITF. And C, it has a project lead. And those are the only changes uh, against, against um, Prometheus. Yep, that's what I got as well. Um, we have 40 members and you are the project lead. That's the kind of TLDR. 
Correct. But uh, the same kind of voting and consensus, consensus majority vote um, rules apply, super majority vote. The same thing we do on the Thanos Cortex from Qs. There is even offboarding, onboarding um, list. Um, so yeah, that would be that would be it. Does anyone has any comments, any questions around that? Uh, Can I request that? Oh, go ahead, Matt. No, after you. I was just going to request: Is this one of the ones that we can revisit? Because I want to. I did not have a chance to read this link. I read the doc, but I didn't read the the links out yet. Um, so I'd definitely like to revisit this one if we could. Yeah, one, one question I have uh, in a similar vein is uh, where are the meetings and are they, you know, are they open? Are they on a cadence uh, moving forward? They are on a fortnightly cadence, uh, though we had a ton of meetings recently. Um, they were closed, as everyone is aware, for the simple reason that even people who left for just one or two months, it was impossible to re-onboard them because we had everything in our head and needed to, to frantically get it out. That being said, obviously uh, there was documentation as code within client Python goal, uh, within client Python and within Prometheus proper itself. Going forward, everything will be public because we basically, we, we, we thought we would have a short period of crunch and sanity that was longer than we expected or anticipated, but um, obviously the intention is to make it all public going forward. Okay, in this case, I think we can uh, essentially give some time for review, I guess, this, and again, we can get back to this later and let's move on. Is there a document? Yeah, one, one, one last question I, I had around the governance and, and the go forward plan. Uh, is the application to ITF and the various back and forths that will be happening there, is that expected to be um, done in the open as well? Uh, so folks can listen in, even if they're a fly on the wall uh, and not a contributor? So within ITF, this is, out, this is way outside the scope of governance, but Within, uh, within the scope of ITF, you have the Ops WG mailing list where everything is discussed in public. I did send uh, the version which we have to the Ops WG chair to do one read through if in case we have any obvious mistakes. And then it will be submitted to the ITF RFC tracker or internet draft tracker where everything is public, it will be discussed on the mailing list, which is public. And as currently there are no ITF meetings, it is done through video, which is also public. Oh, super, great. Yeah, I, I do realize it's out of the scope of governance, but wasn't sure where else it would fit. So let's move on. Uh, I, oh, sorry. Regarding governance, um, I think there was a mention that this is basically a copy of Prometheus. I don't see Prometheus's governance. Can someone add a link to that? It looks like there was, but it's been removed. Yeah, I think um, I would was. like to. Just... Um, if you hammer Prometheus governance into Google, and that's the first hit that we can also edit there. Yeah, we can I drop a link in the doc. So that's... For, for this person. Ah, it's on the website. I see. I see. That's why I'm looking at the GitHub repo, and it was looks like it was there, and it's no longer there, or it's moved somewhere else. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's in the docs repo. I see. Doesn't docs, yes. Got it. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? All right. Should we leave that for now or and then go, go on or yeah, I mean I, I suspect for most of these sections we're gonna have to revisit this um, for a final go ahead. I mean again, um, I don't know, I could be wrong. But I would, Richie I mean, Bartek, what do you think? Of it? Yeah, speaking as a project member, um, in the scope of of the question, if it is self-governing, I think we can answer this as a yes. And as such, yes. um, I don't think there is much more to be discussed outside of of just this yes/no question. So, with my not the chair hat on, just the project mm -hmm. hat on, I don't see any reason for for needing to follow up. Um, that being said, if that is the group consensus, obviously the project will yield yeah. to this. 
Sure. So why don't we do what you did last time, uh, Richie, uh, and have call for consensus. Uh, so uh, call for consensus. <laughs> Does anyone <laughs> object to being done? With, uh, I think I agree. Uh, it's certainly self-governing um, and in line with the CNCF uh, principles around project governance. Any objections? Cool. Uh, Bartek, I can't edit in this, so you're going to have to scribe. I can suggest it looks like, but. Um, oh, yeah, I added. Uh, all right, so yeah, do it. Great. Cool. And I think uh, I think we should all just like, I'll, I'll speak for everyone and say, uh, Richie, we, we assume that for the remainder of this call, you, you have your project lead hat on. I, and I applaud your yeah. being specific. But, I um, will always be specific when talking about anything procedural, but yeah, yes. Um, yes. Let's just move on. Indeed. Cool. So next one is a very sort of forward code of contact. Uh, is there a documented code of contact? Um, you um, team members linked the CNCF code of contact, and I just checked. It is linked in the main uh, kind of repository. So to me, all is good. Um, so any comments? I think let's call for consensus. Any objections? Once, twice, no. Okay, so looks like we are happy. Uh, next one, does the project have production deployments that are high quality and high velocity uh, for both? Yeah, this is related to us um, here in this case. So yes, two of the most used Prometheus client libraries um, have supported open metrics. And that's true because I maintain one of them. Um, Oh no, yeah, actually Go doesn't doesn't yet. <laughs> so it's only yeah. Java and PHP clients, that's true. We should, oh, Go uh, does. We should probably yeah, link them um, to the document as well, if possible. Just so that when we have a reference yes, for what TLC does an overview. We can link to it um, after mm -hmm. call census so we can move. Exactly. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, what else about clients? Uh, also, Prometheus Server and Datadoc have been supporting um, open metrics. Yeah, two years ago already. And we are definitely negotiating open metrics as well. And there is exemplars um, support added as well. So, so like the, the very powerful feature of open metrics. So, cool. Apart from links missing, um, any, any comments? Um, and call for consensus, I guess, straight away. Do we, like, is that enough as a production deployments? I think for me, it's enough. Uh, no I, per yeah, I personally think this is enough given, yeah. Okay, uh, please feel free to just um, speak up if you, if you have comments or like questions, that's totally okay. Um, next one, is the project committed to achieving this oh, um, CNCF? So uh, br briefly, uh, I know that originally, you know, getting vendors to support both, both, both format, uh, to support the format for, you know, you know, devices and other things that are not just a, a client library um, was talked about. Is, is there any references we might want to add to, to folks actually ha that have implemented open metrics uh, for, you know, either Think you know, this is something other than than client libraries. In other words, like embedded devices that are using those, or embedded devices that are writing their own client libraries. Like, how how broad is the um, the current user base? Offhand, outside of the client libraries, I think there's only three or four things that have directly implemented it. For example, I know that uh, Dovecot has, although I think mm -hmm. the PR is technically still open. Um, but I'm not aware of any embedded hardware devices who've done it yet because it's too early in the standardization process. Mm, sure. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 I'm, my goal here would be if there are even others that are that have started to use it, even if it's not finalized or what or whatnot, it might make sense to add it. So again, when um, when our li when our liaison reviews this and then the TOC reviews this once we because the process here is the SIG makes a, a, a formal proposal that yes, this should this should be uh, this should be advanced. Um, you know, then a whole bunch of people that are not quite as familiar as the folks on this call are gonna are gonna then read this document. So, however, we can you know widen the base or make it a more compelling argument that 
that's not disputable that it would make sense, I think. But yeah. All right, let's move on. Um, so is the project committed to achieving the CNCF principles? And do they have a committed roadmap to address any areas of concerns raised by the community? Um, so the answer is it's committed. There is no roadmap, but that's a nature of standard. Um, a sister projects to specify a wire format. I guess this is like a planned thing in a roadmap, right? Within a roadmap. Um, a sister project to specify a wire format for logs is next and uh, will happen under the umbrella of opentelemetry github.org. We're not aware of any concern by the community. Um, Steve, do you want to maybe? Uh, yeah, so I, I put one comment on here. I actually have two comments. So one was just, are there any like big rock things that could be noted? Um, uh, I think given that it's most of it hasn't been open to date, like the community as a, ch as a whole probably hasn't had a chance to really comment on it. So that will probably change over time. Uh, but does the, at least the, the committee today, are they aware of big things that need to happen? Could those potentially be documented? Uh, my second comment would be uh, this This one specifically calls out the CNCF principles. I don't see an expli any explicit mentions here of them, like no kingmakers, one size fits all, standards body. Uh, it might be good in this section to explicitly call out the CNCF principles and ensure that it's adhering to it. So for the first one, um, the one thing which we are aware of, but this is firmly out of the scope for 1.0 is uh, high resolution histograms. Um, the reason why it is out of scope is of course we as a project made a hard promise to retain compatibility to Prometheus. So we just couldn't make that work. Um, but this is something which, which we see as one of the highlight features of a future version. Um, beyond that, there's nothing super pressing course else we wouldn't be comfortable releasing this. Um, as to the CNCF principles that is with my project head on how we replied to the official TOC um, checklist. So that is basically the, um, the question in its entirety. I fully agree with, with everything you mentioned. Um, I do think that we adhere to all of these, um, obviously. Um, so yeah, but uh, like giving this feedback to CNCF TOC, to improve the checklist um, makes absolute sense. And yeah, maybe this similar... one would be a good one to, to review next time we meet too, right? Because I did not compare it to the to the CNCF principles. <laughs> yeah, we had so, the same we had the same experience I, with Cortex and Thanos. So uh, yeah, also for Cortex and Thanos, we had the same process. Of course, again, this is the TOC thing. Um, but are there specific concerns or not? Uh, I, I don't, so I'm not I familiar a, enough with the CNCF principles to comment. <laughs> I have a question around the alignment with open telemetry. I mean, you mentioned it somewhere at the very bottom. And I'm a little surprised that you mentioned the wire format for logs here, but not the wire format for metrics. And that is certainly something that I find quite worrying. That is something that I would have expected in the roadmap to be very clear on that this is your goal. Do you need to rephrase your question? Which part? Um, the part where you said that we talk about logs and not metrics, because the opposite is true. We talk about metrics and not logs. The, the, the sentence here says, assist the project to specify a wire format for logs is next. OK? Uh, that, just a second. I thought you were talking about the section where you left your comment. I didn't leave a comment. In that section, yes, I no, not in this section, but in the section. No, no, below. down below. I was looking for your comments, so I was jumping. Right. In, sorry. Yes. I have a follow-up question for that uh, about the open telemetry alignment. Given that uh, we're approaching again a CNCF uh, incubation uh, under the roadmap and also maybe uh, mapping to some of the principles, I'm not uh, fluent with that. Uh, any more explicit uh, uh, notes on the roadmap on alignment with the open telemetry? So as a wire format, there's nothing directly to be aligned with. 
that is the one hardcore technical question because it is a wire format. And as open telemetry supports a variety of wire formats, there is no direct um, support in this direction. Steve, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, yeah, I think there's two parts to that though, right? Like one is open telemetry supporting sending to open metrics destinations. In theory, that should be possible. I don't know if any due diligence has been done to compare the OTLP protocol with open metrics and confirm that it actually can be fully translated. Um, but I think the bigger question here, which might be being asked is, why does open telemetry have a metrics format? Why is it not using open metrics format? Yeah. I think that's a good question. Um, so as, as someone who's been sitting in on quite a few open telemetry metrics calls over the last year or so, but definitely not all of them, there are some, some incompatibilities, especially around how histograms are with lower equal or greater equal and also about, about having deltas uh, instead of counters, which makes it easier to discard state immediately within open telemetry, but then you have a more or less mandatory sidecar which rebuilds that state um, to be able to talk to all endpoints, uh, not only Prometheus type endpoints. Those points have been raised um, repeatedly. I think another was the suffixes on some, doesn't the, the OM standard kind of dictate a little more firmly uh, total and, and and suffixes for counters that is sort of optional. And I don't know if open telemetry adheres to that or not. But those um, are all questions which are coming not out of a point of view of due diligence on open metrics or right. I'm getting something wrong. Because this yep. seems to me to be concerns for open telemetry, and I, I fully expect that some of those will come up. And I absolutely commit to working with open telemetry to to keep everything on the happy path, one hundred percent. Because that's the only thing which makes sense, personally speaking. Um, but again, this does not seem to be directly related to due diligence on open metrics. Sure. I, I have a suggestion, uh, actually. It, it, oh, sorry. The, the, the thing that confuses me, and I, I see myself as a proxy of many of our customers who are equally confused, is, is there intention from open metrics to enable any kind of open telemetry support or not? And the thing that confuses me when I look at that is that you clearly spell out the wire format for logs, but not for metrics. And I'm trying to understand, is that intentionally so? Or not, and if it's not so, then we should spell it out here in the roadmap. Is that does that make sense? Okay, I, I, I think I know. I think I understand what where you're getting it. So again, um, as a wire format, it's next to impossible to support an instrumentation library which supports a myriad of wire formats. That is the wrong way around. Uh, like, I cannot with an with a wire format support an instrumentation library. This instrumentation library can support a wire format. Um, obviously, it is the case that open metrics is modeled after what client Golang and client Python and such do. And obviously, it's the case that it's also modeled uh, along the lines of, Prome of what Prometheus has been doing, um, and which basically has been, has been in existence since 2014, uh, based on Prometheus exposition format 004. All that being said, again, I, that does not make, seem to make sense. We can definitely put some uh, more verbiage around the metrics part in. That logs part is more of an outlook of what is logical next steps for, for open telemetry as such. Uh, so to put it another way. Sorry. Too many opens, too many opens. So, so, so to put it another way, this is the roadmap section. And metrics aren't mentioned in the robust section because metrics are to some extent done. However, logs are a potential future thing, which is why they're in the roadmap section. So this is all very future looking. Whereas I, metrics I, are I get that. I get that. I get that. But um, if if I understand it correctly, then the argumentation that Richie just used for metrics and the wire format would also apply to logs or not? Why, why are logs different than the metrics? No, they're not, but this is again the Outlook section. So for the Outlook section, right. it does not make sense to talk about we will specify metrics because we just did this. 
Right. And is it, does it make sense in the same way that you say here, we want to specify a wire format for logs under the umbrella of open telemetry that you also, if you plan to do so, that you are working under the umbrella from open telemetry to get open metrics as a wire format in there. I think well, that's a typo. It should say open observability. Uh, you're right. Mm. You see, <laughs> that's why I'm... Uh -huh. <laughs> it's I know that it's this there are many open open things there, right? Yeah, well, open we metrics, a, open okay. Now a, it is a, now it is much clearer to me. That okay. does make more sense now. Uh, as a point of order, I, I have a suggestion. Maybe again, like I know some of us have been reading and steeped in the, in this uh, this noun soup, uh, but we might want to jump to the context after this section of on roadmap at the bottom of the document, uh, particularly for folks that might be joining our call for the first time or uh, are not, you know, are, that would just sort of set the stage for the rest of the document. And it might be the, a better ordering for discussion and review. Um, Sorry, what do you, do you propose to? I, I propose that after we finish with discussion of section four and we come to do a call for consensus, we jump to the bottom part of the document. There's a section called context, the last section, and that sort of in my mind, that would be one of the first sections if we were, again, yeah. just kind of, because it, it just sets the, the stage and, and lays out some of the, the nouns <laughs> um, and, the, and, and, and such. It might, it might facilitate the rest of the, the sections of the document uh, happening a little quicker. Okay, a uh, quick time check. Do we go for full hour or two minutes as usual? I just another meeting. I'm fine to go to the end of the hour, um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, let's let's finish out section four okay. here. <laughs> um, still, uh, we have some kind of um, questions around uh, what exactly those CNCF CNCF principles are. Yes, but again, diving into this. Unless they are so. The, the, the thing, as we have, are there actual concerns, active concerns, or is this a case of not having read up on the CNCF principles and or of TOC checklist not being as good as it could potentially be? Because this is Sorry. literally the same checklist we went through with Cortex and Thanos, so it's... Yeah, so, so let's break this into two parts. Number four asks two questions. One's around CNCF principles. I think if, uh, if you're all comfortable that the answer is yes, that's probably sufficient. The second part here, though, I think is probably the one where we might be more having more of a hang up. Uh, even in this forum, I think multiple people are raising potential concerns uh, that speak to the need to a roadmap. Um, perhaps that is worth talking about next meeting and trying to address some of the concerns that have been bullet pointed here. So as a reminder of how we did this for Cortex and Thanos is that the SIG gave homework to, to the project and the project basically fulfilled this um, in parallel. And then a consensus was spoken out on the condition that this homework is fulfilled. I think we could adopt the same. I think we could adopt the same process here, All right? So, so I think you're both saying the same thing a slightly different way, um, right? So, so we've raised the concern. The project can more in parallel can elaborate the roadmap, and we can call for consensus that's, you know, um, contingent on, you know, that that happening in good faith, and then. Okay, when so, we make a final final determination, because just based on time, we're not going to get through this. So in, in two weeks, we can revisit and and close it off um, and and move on. Any anyone object um, to that okay, so methodology? We, yeah, can we have call of consensus on this that we're happy <laughs> with the section above <laughs> with the item on essentially elaborating roadmap more from open metrics. Um, well, does that make sense? Because if we, and we are either <laughs> saying that's fine or it is open, otherwise we need to revisit it again. So, 
Are you raising the concern that depending on the roadmap, there may be concerns? Right, and we, we would just address them as they come, right? I mean, they're... Like we'll, yeah, we'll I think this isn't the final sign-off, right? Yeah, yeah so we revisit yeah, once. No, we're nowhere near that. Oh, sorry, but I just reread the thing. Do they have a committed roadmap to address any areas of concern raised by the community? So this is not about concerns about a roadmap. It is about current project, which are then being addressed by a roadmap. So if we're anything and if we are being exact, then we need to be really exact. And then the question is, are there current concerns? And if there are current concerns, are they be are they addressed by the roadmap? Yeah, and I think there are several listed in the bullet points above, right? So the ask is to comment on which ones are applicable to open metrics and what would be the roadmap for those items. Correct. With my project head on, I don't believe that there are any on open metrics as a project beyond working in good faith with the other projects. But um, if that is not the group consensus, then obviously it can't be the consensus. But with my project head on, I would at least ask for a consensus on this. Okay, I think let's move on. And uh, yeah. I don't think there is consensus in my opinion. Yeah, we'll move on and we can also work offline in the, in the next two weeks in the talk and comments in the CNCF Slack. Um, yeah, but I think we've, We've made some progress on this one, at least on the first part, and we have some action items for the project to come come back and clarify. Yeah, let's clarify this. Um, it, let's move. it would be good to know, uh, just just briefly jumping in, it would be good to know like specifically what the the outcomes would be uh, desirable for that work, if, if possible. Like um, the only concern would be doing it completely asynchronously would be that there's some comments made and, you know, some work's done, but we come back, you know, a few weeks later and it's like, yeah, we're spinning into December and all yeah. that. Um, but yeah, yeah, it'd be I, nice I, to like have I, some process. Go ahead, Brian. Yeah. I'd like to ask exactly what the concerns are here, because my reading is that there merely needs to be a roadmap. And, and like in this context, the roadmap is get it into IETF. So well, I, if you understand line, what the concerns are about the roadmap. But the line says committed roadmap to address any concerns raised by the community, not roadmap for the project as a whole. So I think some of the concerns are uh, around, <laughs> and I think we'll see this in some of the other items too, like how it impacts potentially open telemetry. Okay, yeah. then please write out specific concerns and we can we can take the discussion above and pivot this into specific concerns which we can address specifically. Right. Well, well that's what I'm worried about is that uh, <laughs> people like it seems it's very vague right now. And I, I want I would love to specifically address concerns, but I don't even know how to how do we get to those specific concerns um, or if do we even have the right people? Like, how, how do we fast track this to making people feel like, making people feel like we're addressing um, the concerns that need to be addressed? And to me, it's not 100% clear that we have a process for getting there. Um, if it, yeah. yeah. And, and I think one of the problems is we're kind of doing it live right now. So I guess, Matt, maybe a question to you. Do you want to put like a, some sort of timeline around when people have to provide comments on this doc so that the yeah, open would, team has something tangible? I would propose. So I think, Rob, what you're saying, as well as Brian, is completely fair. Um, and in my mind, a specific enumeration of concerns is what would be requisite to actually commit to a roadmap to address them. And if you don't know specifically what's being asked, then there's ambiguity. And then we're, we're into December and next year, God forbid. Um, uh, so, so why don't we time box this for two weeks? If, if that, if that makes sense, I think, I think the folks that are passionate about this, you know, that that's plenty of time and we could probably even do it faster, but um, I would suggest that in this document, you know, we make wh whoever has those concerns just take some time to articulate them in a in a in a clear, um, unambiguous way, so that the pro so that the the it, so that the project can 
can address them uh, with, with, with a roadmap that is, is, is sane and rational. And I would imagine that there are more people on this call that might want to, the project might want to bring in or, 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 or what have you, but um, there's two weeks from, so our next meeting is at, I, I would like to close on this in two I weeks personally. I agree on this being two weeks, because if it's two yeah. weeks, then we basically get the list of, or we, in, in extreme, we could get another one final concern basically right before or even during the call. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry. I meant two weeks for the entire activity. So that's a, that's a fine point as well. So do we want to say like by Monday of next week or, or whatever? I mean, um, uh, no one needs to write soliloquies or sonnets, but you know, I, we, could we enumerate the concerns in the next week and then, and then give, or, or a week from today rather, uh, Tuesday of next week, and then the project could have another week to prepare because, yeah, we don't want all this to drop the day before and then we're effectively out another two weeks as well. I think a week is reasonable. Yep. Anyone object to that? Um, I want to try to strike the, the right balance here, uh, you know, uh, so that we can address all of these concerns and but also be time bounded because I think there is, I'd like to, I'd like to move this forward. I think, I think the community needs this to, to move forward as well. If I could be so bold, so. Cool. Cool, that makes sense. I think then <clears throat> spending last four minutes to rush through the points is not very. Um, yeah, finished. unless there's some super non-controversial low hanging fruit that we could just bang, 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 and at least get a, get a couple more. <laughs> um, Try. Just read out point number five and see if I have consensus. Yeah. Cool. Document that the project has a fundamentally sound, fundamentally sound design without obvious critical compromises that will inhibit potential widespread, widespread adoption. Um, My, and we've already, already got controversial. Adoption. Okay. What, Ben? I, I think we already have pretty widespread adoption. I think so. <laughs> I guess the only concern I'd raise is again, open symmetry is going to come up. If open symmetry is the client library for all data sources and it's not compatible fully converting to open metrics, is that not a huge inhibitor to potential widespread adoption? The question is which way the incompatibility goes. Right. Because if you go from Prometheus, which even predates the CNCF and which is supported by literally all projects which in within the CNCF and by thousands of others, I would strongly argue and did argue in the open uh, telemetry metrics calls that that there is an installed base to take into account. Yeah, totally. I mean, I, I totally agree. I think the counter argument though is the Prometheus client library is just for metrics. If I want logs and I want traces, I need to go use something else. If open telemetry provides a single client library, then I, I think it's pretty critical that open metrics be fully compliant or there's an adoption problem. Now, maybe you're right. Maybe this isn't part of this I, I, problem. I think it's, maybe it's more of an open telemetry around. problem. I, I have to have a good reason because I already have uh, a wired up kit that has metrics, logs, and traces. And I see no value in switching to open telemetry for my company. Because sure, it, it definitely can go both ways. The question is, does it potentially inhibit widespread adoption? I, I think it actually inhibits open telemetry's widespread adoption by not supporting Prometheus. Uh, everyone's data pipelines are already set up to ingest Prometheus metrics. All the major vendors support it. Um, it's, it's widely deployed as Prometheus obviously is um, by CNCF, uh, for, for folks that are CNCF end users. Um, not supporting open metrics is a huge inhibitor to open telemetry being deployed uh, in, in any real deployment. Uh, you know, as a vendor, I, I can't recommend people use open telemetry um, until, it's, until it supports it. Uh, and, and that's generally what I've seen in the community. The advice for um, any company of any real size is do not adopt open telemetry just yet because is there's you fundamentally can't get it to work with the current vendors and Prometheus installations that are out there. Um, so that, that, that's that's the viewpoint that I, I've seen with most major end users as well as um, with with people that are 
like interopping with vendors uh, that so yeah I mean it's it's a it's an issue but it depends like I, I think it it, it 100 can be resolved one way easily which is um, open telemetry being like being compatible with this uh, it's, it's just a wire protocol it doesn't try to enforce anything on how you use the wire protocol um, it, it, at least that's the way that's you know uh, most folks around the project have been been looking at open metrics and how it relates yeah. that's my assessment as well um, you know Prometheus being a CNCF graduated project and sort of the de facto way to monitor all sorts of things not, not the least of which is Kubernetes um, you know that the installed base is effectively Prometheus and at least my understanding from reading the open metric spec and and this due diligence is really well, exactly what you said it's it's just getting agreement on the wire protocol uh, so there's a lingua franca right that and 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 it's modeled after what already exists as a drop-in with a few a few tweaks so the if it's scoped just to that wire motor protocol for metrics does that does does that alleviate some of the, your concerns, Steve? I mean, that that by making a by, by fundamentally agreeing on what that wire protocol is, that enables open telemetry to actually implement it in a in a in a go forward way that that's deterministic, right? Oh, uh, possibly. Have a, yeah, like, I, I'm just target. raising the potential con concern. That's all. Like, uh, mm. I think this this falls in both camps, right? Both the open telemetry and the open metric side. Um, but it, it feels like it could potentially inhibit adoption of one or both products projects. Um, so it's at least to, worth raising the concern. To end on a positive note, maybe, and we are way over time. Um, oh, my, we are now, yes. from the, uh, my feeling from the from the from taking part in the open telemetry metrics calls is that there is a high interest in in making all of this compatible, and as Open Telemetry is a client library with explicit goal of supporting a myriad of wire formats. I think maybe we are just having a little bit of a tin pot discussion, because as it is the fundamental goal of Open Telemetry to be compatible with pretty much everything, at least as far as I understood the cause, um, that is the goal anyway. Like it, it seems to be just another check mark on the list of Open Telemetry to to implement an open metrics bridge and be done with it. Uh, Cause like you, you're not talking about how StatsD or Cortex Prometheus do stuff either. And those are all on the list like Cortex, Thanos, Prometheus, StatsD are confirmed at least when I last looked and talked uh, about this as confirmed targets for open telemetry as such as you have Cortex, Thanos and Prometheus that directly transports to open metrics cause like if you if you look at it, the one thing which which is really breaking is a different timestamp, and you're not supposed to be doing timestamps anyway. And that's it. The rest is compatible. Yeah, and I think maybe that's the biggest call out, right? As long as there's like commitment to collaboration on both sides, and maybe oh. that just addresses this. There is a potential compromise, uh, critical issue in that if open symmetry does not, then ad adoption could be impacted. The mitigation there is open metrics commits to working with open symmetry, and open symmetry commits to working with open metrics. Thus, we believe this is not an issue. That 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 seems absolutely to be to be uh, what the way forward is, and that is what I've done in the past, and what actually I already set my calendar again for the next call, and I also wanted to be at them. Oh, by the way, I sent you a note in the in the meeting notes of the last open metrics uh, open telemetry metrics calls about my Calendly link to 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 do a group explainer of open metrics. If you haven't seen, oh that. sweet. I haven't um, seen it now. I know you weren't at that meeting, but I, I highlighted you, Bogdan and, and Josh. Uh, point being, um, I wouldn't have sat in all those meetings starting at 21 local um, if not if not for an honest desire to be interoperable with, with open telemetry. People are yelling at me, of course, I need to get into a new call. Yeah, um, I think we've made good progress here today. Thank you, everybody, for staying a little bit late. Um, uh, let's continue this online Thanks and see you in two weeks. And for folks in the US or wherever, have a great Thanksgiving if you celebrate it. Yeah, um, thanks for having us on the call. Oh, thanks the calls everyone. are all, please join at will. Thank you, everyone. Bye -bye. Thank, you. Thank you. Hey, nice to meet you, by the way.